Okay, I'm really excited about this weekend's fight. Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira. I'm going to give you my thoughts, my analysis and my prediction. If you don't know, these two used to be, used to fight in glory. They used to be glory world champion kickboxers, which makes this exciting. And what makes it extra exciting is they've already fought twice already. The first fight in 2016, Israel Adesanya lost by decision to Alex Pereira. This was a close fight and quite a controversial decision, but they had a rematch a year later, 2017, in Brazil, and Alex Pereira knocked Israel Adesanya out with a left hook. Israel was doing quite well in that fight as well, but in the end he lost, and that was his last fight before going into MMA. Both guys have a prestigious kickboxing record. I would say Israel Sanya has a has a better record, but the kickboxing record you could say is history. And obviously in Israel Sanya became world champion of UFC and shortly later on Alex Pereira has been in the UFC and he's been on a, a six fight win streak with five knockouts recently. Um, last fight he knocked out was Sean Strickland. Okay, that was a uh, Sean Strickland is quite a is a vicious fighter, but I think Sean Strickland he uh, he overestimated his own striking. He decided to strike with Alex Pereira, who is a kickboxing world champion. So that was a major miscalculation on Sean Strickland's part, in my opinion. And we are familiar with Israel Adesanya's record, his prestige record. He became world champion a few years, uh, not long before, before uh, joining the UFC. He's beaten the likes of Yoel Romero, John Whitaker. Calvin Gastelum and others. So he's fought vicious, vicious opponents. And not to say he's also fought Anderson Silva. They have both suffered this uh, defeat in the UFC um, by good grapplers. So they are familiar that with the grappling skills, their own grappling skills. To be fair, there is not much grappling skill shown by each fighters over the years. But if I was to sway, I would believe Israel Adesanya would have an advantage in that department. As I believe he's, uh, he's had some Sandar fights and he's just trained in the UFC for way, way longer. So I think he was, he's been tested by better grapplers over the years, like the names I named before. Alex Pereira hasn't really been tested that much. I mean, he's had, he fought Sean Strickland, but other than that, I mean, I don't think Alex Pereira could beat the likes of Calvin Gastelum, John uh, Whitaker, Yo Romero. I mean, Yo, uh, but doesn't mean that Alex cannot be Izzy. I mean, he he did knock Izzy out the last time they met, and and looking how Izzy blocks, how he tried to block that, he does that same. He has the same tendency with that when someone gives him a left hook. I think um, John Whitaker in the same fight did the same to him, but uh, when when he knocked out Whitaker, but. Israel's son have finished him on that one. So he's obviously improved, obviously, from all those years ago. Now I'm going to talk about the psychological effect. Obviously, for Israel Adesanya, losing twice to 
Alex Pereira will do something to him. He has said that he's gone over it, uh, which I believe him because he's openly said that he's comfortable with the loss and he, and he wants to make history with it, which is why I believe he called him out. You know, he wants to make history, he wants to, he, he said it's like a movie. So this, in my part, is a strategic move, in my opinion. First, Izzy has cleaned out the division almost and fighting his rival, Alex Pereira, the one he's lost to, gives him a better advantage right now because first, Alex Pereira, he's very green when it comes to grappling, no matter how it's to do with the years. He's not going to get good just because he's trained with the best recently. And, it, and if he loses, and say Izzy loses, he gets to, I think he gets an automatic rematch. Because, uh, and if he doesn't, and he decides to fight other people like Whitaker, who are, I, like I said before, I don't think he's going to beat them. So basically, he's, Israel Adesanya will end up on top because he's beaten these guys already. He's cleaned the division up, so... Is good for him, you know. And if he finishes him now, if he he's not gonna ask for a rematch anytime soon because he's still green, unless it's a very very close decision, you know. Because he's he's only fought one ranked opponent, and you know to let you know it, we. A lot of the times, I don't believe in people should get to fight the championship this early. I think people, every time the UFC does that, the guy nothing ever, uh, it doesn't really go well, except for actually Islam Makachev. But Islam Makachev's been, he's had a long win streak, you know. So, scrub that, but yeah. Like when they tried to put Darren Till, you know, push Darren Till. Uh, they tried to push um, Masvidal. I think they were just too early for them. I think they could still win it, but too early. But... I, I think Israel Azasanya is confident in his decision. He's all he seems to always choose the right fights. He's very, very calculated. Reason we know that is he chose to fight. Uh, didn't, when, remember when John Jones called him out and he told him, "No, I'll fight you in a, in a year's time." You know, he he didn't get caught up in the emotion and fight him straight away, and that would have. That would have made him lose and then he tried to go up to light heavyweight to challenge the i can't remember his name um i think it's a polish guy the heavy uh, light heavyweight champion at the time but he lost you know so he basically he was testing the waters before going up to john jones so he's very methodical but recently we see alex Pereira playing mind games on israel Adesanya, like he's trolling his his Instagram, his training methods. I think when he was uh, throwing tennis balls, you got to check it out, it's quite funny. And then Alex Perez does something, he films himself on a hoverboard, sparring, which is extraordinary to speak of the least. And I don't know anyone who can do that. I think this is my prediction for this fight is going to be a hard one because I do think um, Alex Pereira is, is definitely going uh, fighting the champion way too early as expected but because he's beaten Israel Sonia, I think it's a good call to make right time he's he's uh, he's beaten the last six opponents in UFC somehow I don't believe that these two are going to go fight any other fight other than a kickboxing fight I think it'll be very rare if they go grappling at one another it may do I think the strategic move for Israel Adesanya to do is to grapple him okay if he grapples him I think he would he would win and I think 
Israel would grapple him. So I put my bets on Israel Adesanya being how he called him out as well. So I believe he's, he's very calculated, he's very methodical. I do think uh, Alex Pereira is very confident in his power and he's been trying, he wanted this fight for a long, long, long time. I think Alex Pereira may be the better striker in my opinion, but Israel is the most well-rounded. I think, I think the fight would go to Izzy. Izzy will do what Leon Edward done, is grapple, use grappling and confuse the guy. I, I do think Alex Pereira will train in his grappling. He's got top guys from Brazil training with him. But I think Israel has dealt with better grapplers in the real UFC fight. So I give him the benefit on that one. And I do think if it goes or if it goes to the final rounds, or goes into decision, I think Israel will still win. I think Alex Pereira, the only way he could win is to knock Izzy out. Yeah, I repeat, I think if Alex Pereira will win, he will knock him out. Um, it could happen, it could happen. He's got a powerful punch, he's done that to a lot of UFC fighters, he's done that a lot in kickboxing. I still think he will catch him. I think Izzy can change or transition to something if he did. That's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. And I hope to, hope to see an exciting fight this weekend. Peace.